whatever sins you've ever done in your life, however people have discredited you, dis disowned you, and you feel like you've done the worst ever on the face of this earth, Allah is how, so happy for you to repent back to Him. You ask Him with sincerity. You cry back to Him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Shirk. The greatest sin there is, Allah forgives it if a person repents from it. If you repent from shirk, Allah forgives it. Then if shirk has been forgiven on this earth, you repented from it. And this is what shows you how powerful Islam is. When the Prophet's uncle was killed by Hinda, the Prophet didn't say, listen, I'm going to bend the rules here. I'm going to bend the rules. I'm going to deal with you different. You just killed my uncle and take a revenge from her. He didn't. Because At-ta'ibu min al this is a religion. Are you with me? The one who repents is like he's never done that sin. So it's no, you have no right to bring that up to them. If they repented with sincerity and they left it. And of course repentance means what? It means that the person, he makes a decision that he's not going to do this ever again. You say to yourself, I will never do this again, Ya Rabb. The second thing is, and nadam will regret. Whenever you remember it, you regret it. A lot of people, they do sins and they keep talking about it. Back in the days, I used to go in, brother. I used to go in. This doesn't seem like you're regretting what you're doing. It's kind of like you're glorifying it. And I feel like sometimes people talking about their jahiliyyah, sometimes, even though it brings about khair and good, but sometimes some people, they're just a bit going extra in the t t telling the story of their jahiliyyah they glorify it and sometimes it leaves bad thoughts in the people's mind because I remember one youth I said to him one time watch one of these rappers who left and I said look he, look how he repented and look he's like yeah I'm gonna do that do what he did chill I'm gonna repent I, when I'm his age roughly inshallah I'm gonna tell people my story that's how he started to think. I said, how do you know you're going to live for that long? If you know you're going to live for that long, then yeah, do what you want to do. But do you know you're going to live for that long? The point is that sometimes it leaves a reverse thought to people's minds because you glorified, you made it look good. He feels like, I can't tell a story like that. I don't have it. So I have to create it. You see how it can happen like that? You need to think of that as well. I'm not saying that you can't tell your story. I'm not saying that at all. No, I'm not saying that. Please don't misquote me. Just saying that sometimes it's been overdone. Are you with me? It's been over, overdone. So that it needs to be, it needs to be looked into. The person needs to tell their story, tell the people, Ikhwah, leave it. But to go into fasil and taliqat and, and make it look like the glory days, the glory days, it could go against a nadam. Because remember, if you really do a sin today, brothers, you really, you did a sin today. When you go out and tell people, I, I did this proper, you murdered somebody. Would somebody murder, would some, if you murdered somebody, would you tell him? I think back when I murdered bare people. Would you? Or you would really regret it? And you'll keep this. You'll, what? You'll be nervous. That's how you should be when it comes to your sins. You really don't want to tell nobody your past. You want to keep it up, hidden. Locked. No one. It's a closed chapter. That's how you should feel towards a sin. I'm not going to tell nobody what I did. It's between me and Allah, and, Allah, and I want Allah to forgive me. Nah. So it's worry. It's just, and the last thing is that... What's the last one, third one, for repentance? Getting away from it in the first place. And iqala'u minha. A lot of people, they want to repent, and they say, I'm repenting. I asked Allah for giving us last night. I'm changing, brother. Ya akhi, you're still in it. I can see it right now. Why? You haven't got rid of the people you hang around with. What was it that put you in this in the first place? You've not left the things that are bringing you back to it. Some people, they, they have addiction with things that are haram. They watch things that are haram. Get rid of all of those gadgets. That's tawbah. Every time Allah Allah is not. Because the shart of Tawbah was min al dhamb. Get rid of the things that you're, that's making you do the sins. You get rid of the things that's connecting you to this path, this road. 
Are you with me? Then you turn to Allah, you say, Allah, maghfirli. Allah. And you, you carry a, a dumb phone, you leave off the laptops, you leave all this stuff, and you repent to Allah. But if you're still, you still got the gadgets with you, and you're, you're going in circles, this is not called Tawbah. So, if you hang around with the bad people, and you're going with them, and you're doing haram, and you say, I repented, is this a repentance? This is not called repentance. A, a, a ta'ib, a person who's repenting, leaves off all that stuff. Leaves that all, everything that's going to lead to it.